All right, now we're going to look at selections. We'll make a new document that's eight and a half by eleven, and I'll just grab a brush here and choose a color. I'll just choose red, go like that, blue, and then last but not least, I'll pick uh, maybe green, and then. If you double click your brush, it will bring up the tool options, which we're going to cover in the next video, but for right now, drop it down to this little fuzzy circle and click here. There we go. So there we go, three circles. Let's look at the selections and what is possible. Now I could go here and select by color, double click on it, and click on, let's say, green. The threshold, I could up that threshold and then try it again. And you can see that now it selects a little bit more. I can back it off, try it again. And what I can do now that it's selected, I can go edit, cut, and then edit, paste as new layer. And then I can use the move tool to move it around. I can move it right on top of this one or I can move it back. Since it's on a layer, I can move it anywhere I want. To deselect it, I go select none. Now just because it's not selected, I doesn't mean I can't move it. Like I can still move it. Since it's on a layer, I can grab it anytime I want. It doesn't have to be selected. That's the advantage of being on a layer. Okay, next, another way we can do it is go like this. Here is the magic wand tool. So double click on it, it'll bring up the tool options and I can click on this background to select anything that lives on the background. The red circle lives on the background, so I can click that one and edit, cut, edit, paste as new layer. You'll notice that it pops up in the corner so that's one of the the problems with that is it will just magically go up to the upper left hand side. A different way you can do that, and I'll undo it, control Z to undo it by the way, you can go edit cut and then edit paste. It'll paste it as a floating layer over the top of the document. And then um, you can go to new from visible or right click to new layer. So this will maintain it onto the area that it was first copied. It won't move it up to the corner. So again, just in case you missed that, maybe we can get rid of this layer click on that one go to the where the actual colored circle lives and then go like this click on it edit cut edit paste it'll paste it into a floating selected layer and then I could right click on it and say to new layer there it lives If I want to merge that down, I could. All right, the last one you can do, as far as selections are concerned, you can go grab a brush. And I'll grab a hard edge brush because I have a hard edge object to select. And then I can use toggle quick mask, which is shift Q. I can hit shift Q and everything turns red. Then I can use paint to paint this selection. I'll paint it right over the top here. Just click on it and shift Q. You can see now that's the one that is highlighted and I can go edit cut and edit paste. I can move it around if I wanted to and I can right click and say to new layer.
Now, if I want to move any of these items, I can go like this. Pick a layer or a guide. Okay? Now, depending if they are transparent or not, so this one lives on a transparent layer. This one lives on a transparent layer above them. But if I wanted to grab this blue one, it's going to have a hard time with that. It's depending if it's going through a transparency or not. So this method of picking something off of a layer, as long as they're on transparency layers, it has no issues with it. But that's a great way to quickly grab things and quickly move them. All right, so that's selections, that's moving them to layers, that's moving them around. Enjoy. Go on to the next video.